limits of trigonometric functions. So we'll start with the very beginning. We are considering two primary trigonometric ratios, sine x and cosine x. And we are trying to find the limit as x approaches 0, right? So let me draw two sine curves. Let's say one, this is my one of the sine curves, and that is for sine x, and another sine curve for cos x, right? As you know, both are same functions, sine and cosine. The only difference being that one is shifted 90 degrees with respect to the other, right? So, so if I have to make it a sine function, what basically I need to do is kind of, let me just draw a line here, right? And then sine function starts with zero, so my y will be here. So that becomes a sine function for me. Assume that maximum minimum values are plus and minus one. Now to, for, to make a cosine function, I have to do the same thing. The only thing is cosine starts with 1, right? Cos of 0 is 1, so that is what we get. So that becomes cosine, and this is sine. So we have x here, and let's say this is my y value, which gives me a sine. So when we are at 0, sine x is 0. Maximum value is plus 1, and the minimum is minus 1. Time period is 2 pi, right? So that is 2 pi for us. This is pi. Correct. Now for cosine, similar things, maximum is 1, minimum here is minus 1, time period is 2 pi, so starting with 0, we start from a maximum and complete the cycle at the maximum, 2 pi, right? Now, <clears throat> at 0 pi and 2 pi, it has its extreme values, right? So this is how the functions are. Now let's see what is the limit of these functions as x approaches 0. Let's first concentrate on sine x. So this is our sine function. And as we approach 0 from left side, which point do we approach? As we approach from left side, we approach 0. And as we approach 0 from the right side, we also approach 0, correct? So I can always write this as limit as x approaching 0 from left side of sine x is actually equal to zero, right? And also limit x approaching zero from positive side, that means the right side, for sine x is also equal to zero. And therefore, we can write the limit of this function exists since both of them are same and it is equals to zero, right? So that is perfect. So we know now that the limit of sine x as x approaches zero is zero. Let's do the same analysis for cosine x. Now, as you approach 0 from left side, where do you approach? You approach a value of 1. And from the right side, you also approach the value of 1. Correct? So, in this case, we can write limit as x approaches 0 for cos x from left side, that is minus, is equal to 1. Right? And limit when x approaches 0 from positive side, that is the right side for cos x, is also equals to 1. Since both these limits are equal, and they are both equal to 1, limit of our function cosine x as x approaches 0 is 1. So these are two very basic limits which we are going to utilize to solve any trigonometric problem with limits. Now, third, which we also call fundamental limit, is this one, which is limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0. Now, this limit is equal to 1. Now, in the next video, what you're going to do is find this out or prove it, right? That's the next video. Best way to prove it is like this. Approach x from left and right side and see what value do you get. Remember one thing that is extremely critical. Whenever we're talking about trigonomet trigonometric functions, the units are radians. Don't forget that. We are always looking into radians and not degrees, right? So that is very critical part. Always remember the units for the angle or the argument 
is radians, right? So when you do your calculations for sine x over x, make a table approaching zero from both sides left and right and switch your mode on calculator to radians, not to degrees and check it out, okay? So these three limits are extremely important for us to understand and remember to solve any trigonometric question on limits. So with that, we move forward. Thank you and all the best.